Motor Week is made possible by Tire Rack. By now, the reborn Mini Cooper has proven to be far more than just a one-trick pony. Since it returned for 2001, it has encompassed everything from two-seat roadsters to all-wheel drive crossovers. The topper throughout, however, is the brand's unique take on driving fun. And the purest form of that is when you lose that top altogether. While there are more great options than ever for affordable, small, sporty cars, and even quite a few reasonably priced convertibles around these days, none are quite as all-inclusive of those attributes as this 2016 Mini Cooper convertible. A nice slice of its charm is, of course, the Cooper's one-touch power-operated cloth top. Plus, it folds in stages so you can slide back just the top portion as a sunroof. As it fully folds, it comes to rest just behind the rear seat passenger's headrest, so there remains a useful amount of luggage space, 5.7 cubic feet to be exact. The boot opening is small, but Mini has a workaround for that. Easy load levers that hold the convertible top up out of the way while you load your gear. Under the bonnet, it's the same engine choices as the hardtop, Standard Coopers come with its well-regarded 134 horsepower, 1.5 liter i3 turbo, while Cooper S's get a version of BMW's twin power 2 liter i4 turbo with 189 horsepower and 207 pound-feet of torque. Both with your choice of six-speed transmissions, manual or automatic. We've said it before that the added power of the S is not essential to the experience, but we actually do prefer it here. It feels smoother than ever, and the additional boost helps offset the convertible's weight gain. And it's certainly helpful for enabling your daily dodge around the cell phone wielding nitwits we all seem to be encountering these days. This Cooper is still the same square with flair sports car we've always loved, but with the top down, the fun becomes even more visceral. There is a little wind buffeting at speed, but it's not an objectionable amount. But remember, the ride remains on the stiff side. That also means there's not much flex or shake to be found and no degrading in overall dynamics. It's still some of the most fun on four wheels for the money. Rollover hoops are now fully recessed behind the rear headrest, though those headrests are very large and block what little rear visibility there is with the top up. Though visibility is rarely a convertible strong point, extra caution is needed here when backing up, even with the optional backup camera. And one final complaint, the reach back to a seat belt for those up front is a long one. Though this third generation Mini is bigger by every measure, it still navigates cones like a gnat zooming around your head. Both the single joint front strut suspension and the rear multi-link are upgraded for the convertible's heavier weight. It really is an exceptional handler, immensely fun and capable, maintaining speed through high speed maneuvers without losing composure and only demonstrating a slight bit of understeer. While not a rocket off the line, it does get off to a low Earth orbit 0 to 60 time of 6.3 seconds. Power delivery is very smooth, with decent torque throughout the rev band. The manual transmission would have been more fun, of course, but with the automatic, shifting was quick and firm, as this Cooper S burbled and popped its way to a quarter mile time of 14.8 seconds at 97 miles per hour. Everything inside remains the same as the hardtop, so we still love the fact that the Mood Ring central display that used to house the speedometer is now dedicated to infotainment duties with an iDrive-derived controller for input. Government fuel economy ratings for a Cooper S Automatic are 25 city, 33 highway, and 28 combined. We averaged a very good 32 miles per gallon on premium. Entry into the world of the Mini Cooper convertible is priced at $26,800.
about five grand over a base Cooper hardtop. The Cooper S convertible starts at $30,450. Getting it fully loaded is actually an option, adding every package available for a total of $35,200. Alas, it's false advertising though, as there are still plenty of other a la carte options that can take you all the way up to 40 Gs. We really like it, but perhaps not at that high of a sticker. Since this 2016 Mini Cooper convertible is old school fun at its purest, our advice is to go as minimal as you can get away with and save some money for going on some adventures. Because that's exactly what you'll feel like doing when you get behind the wheel and drop the top of this captivating micro machine.